Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Charles Young, also known as Open Thoughts. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's Open, T-H-O-T-S dot com. Hey, so what, what I want to get into today is talking about uh, not every black person is going to be a part of the conscious black movement. Now, the reason why I want to talk about this situation is because a lot of the time I see a lot of, especially on Facebook, a lot of posts, uh, a lot of information stating how certain individuals that are black or, you know, are African-American descent or Uncle Tom's based upon the information that they give. And a lot of the times, I guess, we people forget that individuals have difference of opinions we all don't share the same type of opinion and we all don't come from the same type background uh, um, situation lifestyle some of us actually came from better lifestyles some of us didn't but that doesn't always mean that everybody's going to be taken upon the same fight that you are and that doesn't always mean that that individual is against your movement or a negative person or we have to call them a name a lot of the times i feel that the more times we call people uncle toms it's just a bad strike up on ourselves it's it really doesn't make any sense it's just like doing the same uh thing that white people once were doing to us i mean we're trying to fight what civil rights and we're trying to have rights and trying to be equal to the next individual but yeah we're condemning them just as well as white people was condemning us and we're trying to say that what they're doing is wrong but we don't take in the fact that our actions is wrong as well if we continue to pick up the traits that these individuals are doing so it's very interesting that people fail to realize is that not everybody's going to take upon this fight and it's okay. It's, it's, it's fine because we don't need everybody trying to take up on this fight. We don't need everybody. It's just the people who are aware of the information should be taking on this fight. And a lot of the times the issue is that the people who have the information is not even putting forth any work. They're just taking all this information in and just hoarding it instead of making videos like this or standing out there and talking to people and trying to get the information out, writing a book based upon this information, giving small lectures. Hell, even if you don't just teach your family, not even teaching your family this stuff. And but yet you're considering people who who have probably don't even care about this information, living their life as an Uncle Tom. And they don't even and they don't even understand the issue because they didn't come from these certain circumstances. Um Especially for me, as I want to say, a lot of the time with like a lot of these half breed individuals, they they're on both sides of the spectrum. But at the same time, I've seen a lot of half breeds who understand the information and the material. But from what I'm saying is from from my perspective is a lot of the half breeds that I've ran into and the information that I've gathered is that they are on both sides of the playing field because it's kind of hard to say. Uh, I'm black power, black power, black power, the white man's this, when you are partially white. And you know what I'm saying? And especially if your mother is white, well, it's your mother. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us, all of us know that we all, for the most part, we respect our mothers, regardless of who she is, what color she is, no matter what we came out to be. We usually respect our mothers. So it's kind of hard for an individual to take on a fight against the person that birthed him, you know, and that perspective, even if he's a white, even if his daddy is white, it, you know, it's still, it's still hard to go against the people that you live around. So I'm not saying that I don't think more and in black individuals should take up this fight. I'm just saying that we got to look at it as let's stop directing our attention towards the people who are not taking up the fight of consciousness and awareness you know, everybody has their own opinion. You know, it's wasted energy when you're sitting over here as being black. Because a lot of the stuff, a lot of the information I'm finding out is that that bothers me about the conscious community is that we're fighting against one another. Who's more aware than the next individual? That's stupid. That's not what the fight is. You know what I'm saying? I'm watching videos where I see like white folks fighting the GMO problem and you know they're fighting directing our attention towards fixing the food they're not trying to fight whose race is it whose race is running this and who doesn't agree and let's go after and attack them no they're attacking the problem that's one of our issues is that we, we we're so confused on 
what issue to attack. You know, we're f trying to attack every issue. We're trying to attack everybody. Anybody who's against us, we're going to attack them. Anybody who, 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 who uh, 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 isn't for this movement, we're going to attack them. And you're not taking your time to actually fight the true problem. You're just diverting your energy to all this stuff. So, I mean, that's all I really want to say on this circumstance. Know that every black person is not going to be for this movement. Notice everybody, everybody is not going to be for this movement. But at the same time, if you are for this movement, know where to focus your attention and stop misdirecting it to uh, everywhere else. So I thank you guys for listening again. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's Open, T-H-O-T-S dot com. Follow me on Blogger, Twitter, Facebook. Um, all the information will be at the link below. So I thank you and you guys have a good one. Peace.